Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about adding and subtracting these rational algebraic expressions. Last time, we talked about adding and subtracting RAE with the same denominators, and you can see the link of that video in our description box and here. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here, guys, are the first two examples of adding RAE or rational algebraic expressions with different denominators. And syempre, if they have different denominators, we need to find the LCD. Kasi nag apply din naman dito yung ways on how to add or subtract fractions with different denominators. Now, as for the LCD of the first example, 2 over x squared minus 3 over 7x. Let's list down the LCD or let's find out what is the LCD. Now, you break down natin kung paano siya hinapin. At first, we will focus with the number. The number here from x squared and 7x is 7. So definitely, since nag isang number lang siya, part siya ng LCD. And as for the next one, here we have an x square, and here we have an x. So, anong gagawin natin dito? So, basically, or shortcut dito, if you have a monomial or a variable, you will choose the variable with the highest exponent. And that would be x squared. In other words, the LCD for this one is 7x squared. So, how are we going to subtract this kind of expressions. Meron akong ginawang mga video na kung saan uh, I do the normal thing, but try natin i-apply ito. So, let's say for example, I have 2x squared. So, we break down natin 2 over x squared. What we're going to do is we will think of a multiplier. Again, anong pwede natin i-multiply sa x squared natin to make it 7x squared. Okay? Basically, we will multiply this by 7. Again, 7 times x squared is 7x squared for us to have this kind of denominator. Next, kung nag-multiply tayo 7 in our denominator, we also need to multiply our numerator by 7. This one this one is quite different from your teachers kasi meron na akong video ng ganito na kung saan finalo ko yung or ginagawa ko yung ginagawa sa classroom. Ito, try natin ibang method. Okay? And then here, minus 3. We have minus 3 over 7x. So, for this fraction naman, we will think of anong i-multiply natin sa 7x to make it 7x squared. Okay, very good. Definitely, that would be x. And dito, x then. So, bakit po? Because 7x times x is 7x squared. Now, let's continue. We have here 2 times 7, which is 14, over, this one is definitely 7x squared, minus 3 times x, which is 3x, over, this one is also 7x squared. And kung notice nyo guys, meron na tayong ngayong same denominator. Okay? Meron na tayong same denominator. So what we need to do is to subtract the numerators and copy the denominator. That is 14 minus 3x over 7x squared. Ito yung possible answer natin. But if your teacher wants you to put this variable sa first term natin, pwede namang i-express yung final answer natin as negative 3x plus 14 over 7x squared. And these are the possible answers for item number 1. Okay? Now, let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we have here the 5x, 5 over x plus 7y over x plus 3. Yung denominators natin are different. This is a monomial and this is a binomial. Sir, pares naman po may x yan. Hindi pwede. Since they are different, again, this one is a monomial and this one is a binomial, automatic ang gawin ng rule dyan. Lagay nyo dito yung x times x plus 3. This would be the least common denominator of this given expressions. Okay? So ngayon, we will apply the same method. So dito, in our 5x, 5 over x, isip tayo ng multiplier natin sa ating denominator. Ano yung multiply natin sa x to make it x times x plus 3? So basically, ito na mismo. x plus 3. Okay? 
Ginagamit ko na yun, red ball pen, para hindi tayo, uh, red pen, para hindi tayo masyadong tumagal. Plus, your 7y over x plus 3. Ano yung multiply natin dito to make it x times x plus 3? Definitely, that is x. And this is also times x. Now, what will happen? Ngayon, for this scenario, parehas na yung denominator natin, yung arrangement na lang. Okay? So, what we need to do is to add, o simplify muna natin to. This is 5 plus 7y times x is 7xy over our denominator, which is the common denominator, that would be x times x plus 3. So, kung mapansin nyo, ang ginawa ko is, I have decided to express our denominator in factored form. Kasi mas okay yan para mas makita natin na simplified na talaga, wala tayong pwede ma-cancel out. So, we can consider this one as the final answer. But if your teacher want to put this term in front, that will be 7xy plus 5 over x times x plus 3. Ito yung mga giging sagot natin. So, as you can see, medyo mahirap siya. Pero if nakuha niyo yung technique on how to make it the same denominator, for sure, ma 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 maintindihan niyo how, how to perform addition or subtraction of RE. Now, let's continue with item number 3. For item number 3, guys, as you can see, meron tayo ditong denominators ng trinomial, but they have different denominators. x over x squared plus 4x plus 3 minus 3 over x squared minus 4x minus 5. So, ang basic thing na kailangan yung gawin dito is to use factoring muna. Let's factor out the denominator. We have here x over ang factors nito ay x plus 3 times x plus 1. Before natin hunin yung LCD, factor muna natin. Minus 3 over the factors of this are x minus 5 times x plus 1. So as you can see, upon factoring, nakita natin meron tayong common, which is x plus 1. So para mag-decide tayo, what is LCD? Lagyan natin dito, LCD. Since common yung x plus 1, lagyan natin dito, x plus 1. And as you can see, meron tayong two different binomials. Copy natin parehas yan na may include natin sa ating LCD. So, yung common, we copied it. And yung different binomials, again natin dito, x plus 3 times x minus 5. All in all, ito yung ating LCD. Okay? So, we can have this. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we will apply the same method earlier. Now, look. Kailangan maging pares sa sila dito eh. Let's copy your numerator x and over... Yan. As you can see, meron tayo x plus 3 times x plus 1. What is the binomial na kailangan natin i-multiply to make it like this? Basically, meron siyang x plus 1, x plus 3, nawawala na lang ito. So, we will multiply this denominator by x minus 5. So, that will be x plus 3 times x plus 1, and then multiply natin yung x minus 5, as well as your numerator, x minus 5. Okay, minus, ito naman, 3 over, copy and natin to, x minus 5, then x plus 3, ah sorry, x plus 1, times, syempre kung hindi nawawala, x plus 3, ito yung multiplier natin, same with your numerator, x plus 3. Ngayon, since we have the same denominator na, we can copy the denominator and then subtract the numerators. So, una na natin gagawin dito is that we will simplify first itong numerators natin before tayo mag-subtract pala. By distributive property, x times x is x squared. x times negative 5 minus 5x over your common denominator, x plus 3, x plus 1, x minus 5, minus 3, times x, which is 3x, 3 times 3, which is plus 9, over x minus 5, x plus 1, x plus 3. Okay? Now, what's next? 
since meron tayong common denominator, we can subtract the numerators. Una, copy muna natin itong common denominator natin. x plus 3 times x plus 1 times x minus 5. And here, copy x squared minus 5x. And itong numerator natin sa second fraction, yung multiply natin itong negative sign sa bawat term natin. Negative times 3x is minus 3x. Negative times 9 is minus 9. And we can simplify the numerator. Move natin dito yung ating solution. Okay? X squared, copy natin yan. We can combine this. Negative 5x minus 3x is negative 8x, then minus 9. Then copy your common denominator. x plus 1, x plus 3, times x minus 5. Now, numerators na, numerator natin is a trinomial na. We can factor it out para makita natin if we can still simplify or pwede tayo cancel Factors are x minus 9 times x plus 1. Then copy your common denominator. x plus 1, x plus 3, then x minus 5. And as you can see, meron tayong common binomial that we can cancel. So that would be, eto, yung x plus 1 natin, then x plus 1. So what remains here is x minus 9 over x plus 3 times x minus 5. And this will be the final answer for the third item. Medyo mahaba pero I hope you learned something from this video. And guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!